Uh, but who are these guys that are signing up? Um, these guys, are their ages are from all the way from uh, 16 all the way up to 54. So you get a very wide range of guys that are enlisting, very wide range of ages. Uh, the average age, though, is about 23. These young adult guys kind of in their prime coming out here to the frontier. Why are they doing this? Why are they coming out here to what uh, to them would be the edge of the known world at this time? I mean, it has been discovered and people are out here, uh, but there's no settlements and so it's very dangerous for these troops coming out here. So why are they doing it? It certainly wasn't the pay. Uh, they're getting eight pence per day to give you a modern equivalent to that. That's about a third of the minimum wage. And so imagine the government coming to you and saying, hey, you want to go fight in uh, Afghanistan? We'll give you, uh, you know, three bucks a day. Does that sound good? That sounds terrible. I, would, I don't think I'd do it. Um, so there's a couple other enlistment incentives, though. Um, and surprisingly, it's pretty similar to why people join the military today. Does anybody want to guess some of the number one reasons why civilians join our military? Patriotic duty. That's right. That's uh, definitely on the top five. Um, and there certainly is that incentive back then as well. Uh, yes, they're not fighting for the United States because it's not existing yet. Uh, but they are fighting for king and country. There is a, a certain patriotic or a pride for their country at this point uh, back in England. So yes, that is an incentive. Anything else? What other things that people join for? Land. Land. You hit the number one uh, reason or incentive. Uh, now, you don't really see the government issuing land to the, the modern uh, uh, troops today, uh, but back then it certainly was the highest uh, incentive. Um, I like to kind of uh, assimilate the land issue to what we have today as the GI Bill or uh, government assisting with your education. That's the number one reason today why people sign up is to get hopefully discount or free tuition for their college uh, degree and hopefully getting a better job later in life. You can think of land grants as the next best thing or very similar to what that is. I'm not saying, you know, like Virginia is not offering land grants. I'm, I'm sorry. Virginia is not offering free tuition, but they're issuing those land grants. The governor set aside 200,000 acres to the men that enlist out in the Ohio River Valley. Uh, why is land so important? Well, if you wanted to be anything, if you wanted to be a voting member of society, have any kind of civic duty whatsoever, have a say um, in your community, you had to own land. Without, you were nothing. And so even to cast the vote in the local assembly, you had to have at least 60 acres of improved land, which means you have to have some sort of house or structure or farm on it. Um, or you would have 100 acres of unimproved land. And so again, these guys had to be having some sort of land to even have a say. And so the governor, like I said, set aside those uh, acres of land. Um, and all the way from private to officer, they'd be distributed among them. And so hopefully these guys were signing up, surviving that campaign, returning in hopes of getting that land grant, uh, becoming somebody instantly. So that's the biggest reason why they're coming out here.